beneath the bed, there's a small drawer. Open it. And somewhere at the back will be a small wooden box with some flowers on it. And inside the box? An extremely precious family heirloom. My mother's necklace. It was given to Verity after her death. Take it. Pawn it. It will fetch thousands. What are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. You're tampering with police evidence. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I wasn't. Um, there was just something. The, the truth is, uh, I can't stop thinking about it. Verity. Yeah. Uh, I know it sounds pathetic, um, but I don't deal very well with death. It's bottled up, you know. I don't know anyone who copes with it well. But that doesn't explain why you broke into Eric's caravan. Oh, I just I wanted to feel close to her, I suppose. I don't have anything left of her, and I just thought maybe I... You can't be in here, James. I could arrest you for this. Yeah, I know. God, I don't think I was thinking straight. Yeah, my sister's quite ill, and uh, I just resurfaced all these feelings. You won't... <clears throat> Tell anyone about this, will you? It's more than my job's worth. Thanks. James. That. Don't you ever work a full day? What? I knew you'd been down the casino! My client gave me an advance. In cash? Yeah, well, he's a bit of a tax dodger. Look, what does it matter? I'm going down to the bank now, and I'm going to transfer this to the clinic. Guys! I got an appointment for my transplant. What? W what? What? Yeah, the oncologist called. There's a hospital in Birmingham, and they can take her on Thursday. <gasps> Are, are you sure that's what they said? Yeah. And James, I just want to thank you for going out of your way to find that private treatment. But I want to do it here. It feels safe. And honestly, this decision is the only bit of control I have over my life right now. Yeah, whatever you need. I, I just want you to get better. This is all I need. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. 